Hello! Today we're going to answer a question submitted by a member of our private swimming Facebook group. And she asks, is a life jacket good for beginner swimmers? This is a good question. And uh, I think uh, there's a lot of misconception out there on how a life jacket is supposed to be used. A life jacket is good for keeping a body afloat on top of the water. That's its first purpose. So whether you are a swimmer or can't swim at all, a life jacket removes that variable by just keeping a body afloat on top of the water. And why do we use life jackets? Well, primarily for safety first. Safety first, okay? For swimming, it is very hard to move around in the water, especially when you're doing strokes, when you're wearing a life jacket. Because when you wear a life jacket, the life jacket is meant to put your body in upright position. So when you wear the jacket, it goes from your shoulders all the way down to your belly button. And it's going to whoop, keep your body in an, a vertical position. So if you're in this position, it's going to be very hard to move your body in a horizontal position where most of us are practicing strokes. But you see, you often see in swimming lessons at your community pool, like um, swim instructors putting on life jackets on the little kids or adults. And the reason why they do that is to make them get comfortable in water that's very deep. Okay, that's the only purpose. Just to get used to that sensation of not having your toes touch the bottom of the pool, so not having anything to grab onto, except the water. That's it. Because for a lot of people, it's, it's like jumping out of an airplane without a parachute. Okay, you need to have that, that insurance, that, that feeling of confidence and safety that you have a life jacket that's gonna keep you upright no matter what you do. I mean, you could be the heaviest guy, you could be the most nerve-ridden guy, you can go crazy, but no matter what you do, no matter what your, your size is, your situation, your swimming background, the life jacket will keep you afloat, guaranteed. Guaranteed, you cannot mess this up unless you take the jacket off or wear it un un inappropriately without zippers and buckles on, strapped on tightly. And you have to keep the life jacket tight. That's another problem I see uh, with kids trying on life jackets or uh, beginner swimmers. When they put on a life jacket, they don't fasten the life jacket tight enough around the body. The life jacket has to be snug. It can't be loose. Why? Because if it's loose, the jacket's gonna go vroom, it's gonna float your head's gonna be here, and the jacket's gonna pop up. Its its purpose is to boing, bounce off the water. It's, it, that's its purpose. It's just like a balloon, boom. You try to sink a balloon into the water, boom, it's gonna shoot right up towards the surface. And that's the same thing as the life jacket. Okay, so make sure you wear the right size, and you, you fasten it really tight around your body. That's the proper way to wear a life jacket. Now, you're wearing a life jacket, you want to practice in the deep water because you're afraid of, you know, not having your toes touch the bottom of the pool and you're not grabbing onto any ledge. Yeah, you could get by with some doggy paddling, head up front crawl that you see most people doing with a life jacket on. But when you wear the life jacket, like I said, it's going to keep your body upright. So in most cases, if you try really hard to do a front crawl, the best you can get out of wearing a life jacket is being at a 45 degree angle. So you can't really do a front crawl like in this horizontal position that I'm showing you with a life jacket. It's very hard and because again, it's going to force your body upright. So it's going to compensate by putting you in a 45 degree angle. Okay, so your legs are here, your head is here, and your arms are on the surface of the water and you're going to be doggy paddling or front crawling in this position head up front crawl which is going to be very tiring it's very taxing being in this 45 degree position this is the most optimized position
for us swimmers being straight flat with the water all right so if you're a beginner swimmer you're gonna get really tired in this position first of all I mean I get tired in this position just doing a front crawl head up front crawl without a life jacket just imagine wearing a life jacket it's it's gonna slow you down even more right because uh, all that padding you that weight you're carrying with you my advice to you is if you are scared of deep water you're trying it out for the first time yes it's good to wear a life jacket and get your body oriented with the unknown okay moving around splashing around grabbing the ledge in the deep end pushing off and then trying to swim back to the ledge that's what i would do and that's what i would teach for most beginner swimmers is you grab the ledge in the deep water with the life jacket on push off and then you swim to the ledge and then you, you swim even further and then you swim around so you do like a u-turn and you just build up that confidence all right so you push further away swim farther away from the ledge and then swim back as much as you can and then eventually you'll get to the point where you can do an entire lap from one end of the pool to the other with with a life check if you want to and you can practice your floats very easily if you wanted to lying on your back because when you're you'll notice that the life jackets they have this uh, this this headrest uh, headrest padding located in the back and that's ideal for lying on your back okay not ideal for lying being in your front but when you're on your back it's it's just like a recliner sofa so that is one good thing about wearing a life jacket you can easily go on your back and float and spread out like a starfish, which you see most kids doing when they put on the life jacket, right? Because they lie down on the back and it's so easy because of that headrest. That, that headrest does all the work for you. Okay, so that's one benefit. Okay, so yeah, try it out, but in the long term, uh, life jacket's like training wheels on a bike. You can't really ride a bike around the mountain or the countryside with just training wheels. Eventually you're gonna take those training wheels off and you gotta do it on your own. Use your own arms and legs, all right? But we all learn how to swim in the deep water, how to orient, orient ourselves and build up that, that confidence, that spatial awareness by wearing a life jacket. So I highly encourage you try it out. Uh, go to your local pool, they have life jackets there for you to try on. Or better yet, get, a, get your own custom life jacket. I have some links down below if you wanna check out some. Yeah, get the get the size that you are that fits you the best and yeah just wear like a coat of armor i mean no shame i mean you see it all in outdoor sports activities like boating and yeah, jet skiing and all that so yeah you can wear that in the local pool too that looks cool that's actually it actually looks cooler than the the life jackets that they have at the local pool in my opinion those jet ski when you see the, the boating the yachting speed boating all that those life jackets look cool, by the way. Uh, yeah, so that's my take. Uh, let me know what you think about life jackets down below, how you learned, how you used them, what you thought about them. And uh, yeah, I hope this video has been helpful. So stay tuned for the next one. Thank you for watching. My name is Justin, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.